Most Singaporeans would have ordered food delivery during the current circuit breaker, but how many have thought of hitting the streets as a food delivery rider themselves? Now, Mr. Anthony Holahan, Vice President of Strategy for Telecommunications Company Ericsson Telecommunications, signed up to be a grab food rider after hearing about the circuit breaker extension. His mission to raise $100,000 for the Children's Cancer Foundation by the end of the circuit breaker period whenever that might be. We're very pleased to be joined by none other than Anthony himself to talk about his experience as well as his cause. Welcome, Anthony. Anthony, first off, uh, how did the idea of signing up to be a food delivery rider come about in the first place? Uh, you know, why not some other form of donating? Okay. Well, I, I think fundamentally the circuit breaker has just given someone like myself a lot of free time. I mean, I would typically spend my time at mm. the gym, doing yoga, meeting friends, socializing. All of those things now are no longer available. It's in the circuit breaker. So I needed to get active. I needed to get out of my house. I needed to interact with other people. So I felt doing the grab food delivery or being a food delivery driver would be, you know, a great way to do that, to be out and about and be in society and play a role. And then mm -hmm. I kind of figured if I could combine that with doing something for children in need, which is an important cause for me, um, that would be perfect. So that's where it all came from. Mm. How has your experience been so far? Now, we understand you deliver after your regular day job. How were the first couple of days like? Was it difficult to get used to it? Yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was. It, it's a new job for me, and I think like anything new, it needs to be learned. Um, I'm delivering mainly in the area in which I live, so I have a pretty good idea of, of where things are, but learning how to use the app, technology, being in the right place at the right time, dealing with you know the security measures, both in malls and restaurants as well as condominiums, takes some getting used to. And um, there was a lot to learn in the early days. Right, now Anthony, uh, what's a typical delivery um, schedule like for you? So in weekdays, I typically start after 5 p.m. and work through till about eight. And um, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll turn on the app and I'll typically get jobs near where I live in River Valley. and. I'll just work from there. And on the weekends, I do the same thing, but I'll start in the morning around 10 or 11 a.m. I go through until 7 or 8 p.m. Um, on, on a weekend doing the same thing. Mm. Now, Anthony, of course, uh, this is not just uh, fun and games. It is uh, for a good cause as well. Now, you aim to raise $100,000 for the Children's Cancer Foundation. How has the program been so far? Are you close to your target? Yeah, we're making great progress. Uh, we're just coming short of the halfway mark in terms of the time. I've gotten to the 1st of June, which is the date that you know the circuit breaker is scheduled to be eased quite a bit. Um, we're on 27,000 as of the end of day yesterday and making great progress. So I'm looking for some contributions now from some corporations who are you know, obviously associated with what I'm doing, as well as the greater public and friends of friends. So we're quite hopeful we can get there together. Mm. Now, Anthony, you've been uh, doing this for uh, a while now. Uh, any uh, significant or memorable milestones uh, to share from your delivery experience so far? Yeah, I think two, two main things. I think the first one is the very touching messages I've received from the mm. relatives and family members who've, who've had relatives who've been cared for and supported by the Children's Cancer Foundation. Uh, people have shared their personal stories with me and it's been incredibly touching to hear, you know, uh, kind of the impact the CCF has had on people's lives um, who are close to people who are suffering um, from cancer. That, that, that was amazing. And I think the second mm. thing is the respect they have from the people who do this job day in, day out. Delivering food as a rider is not an easy job. It's hot out there. It can be quite brutal at times. It can be quite lonely even, if, you know, between your calls. Yeah. You have to pedal hard. It requires a lot of physical effort and, you know, for a fairly low wage, if, I, if I'm really honest, you know what I mean? So mm. those guys work hard and I've got so much respect for those guys who do this week in, week out, doing money, you know, for themselves and their families. Mm. Well, thank you so much, uh, Anthony, for taking the time to speak with us. We certainly wish you all the very best in your endeavour. Now, we've been speaking to Anthony Hulohan, who has embarked on a mission to raise $100,000 for the Children's Cancer Foundation after signing up to be a food delivery rider. Now you can read the full story on straightstimes.com.